Hey Jordan, welcome to the stream buddy. Hope you're having a good day, hope you're staying safe. I wonder if there's any missions for St. Croix here, yeah, there is. That's just for the pawn fish though. Not really interested in that. Congrats on the 500 subs. Yeah, thanks very much buddy, thank you. Hey, well you're welcome to the stream buddy. I hope you're having a good day. I hope all is well with you. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. I'm good. I just, I was messing around earlier on and I thought, you know what, I'll be still streaming later on tonight, so I've kind of held off. I thought I'd try and risk it. I'll go for some uh, Northern Pike at St. Croix because the getting experience without any premium and getting it buying a DLC is such a pain. It really is, and I thought, okay, this is all I can afford at the moment, guys. So we're gonna try and gonna try and battle some of the, the northern pike, see how we get on. It could be a bit of a struggle, but keeping the hook size down, so so hopefully, we'll see, we'll see how it all pans out. I'm really wanting XP, I'm not fussy for the cash. It's the, the XP that I'm after. So I've only got one bottom rod, which is, which is a big alley and I'd rather really not fish. I mean, we could try. We could try a bit later on. Have I got a weight with me? Yes, I have. We could maybe try later on with that. I mean, I don't know how it's going to go. I, I, I mean, if I break everything, then I break it. Then, you know, um, it's not the end of the world. This is, this is not my main account on Fishing Planet. So we'll... We'll see how it goes. Right, let's buy a license for here. Let's have a look. Okay, so a cloudy day, it's not bad. Got two peaks. Yeah, it's not bad. I think I've got everything with me. I did buy some titanium leaders. I had to use some uh, bait coins to buy them. I'm not a high enough level yet. But I'm going to try without the the leaders. I mean, it worst comes to worst, we'll lose a hook, you know, so. I don't think you lose your float if, uh, if a pike bite through your line. And um, we're using £20 braid. I think it, yeah, it's twenty pound braid. That's 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 the biggest test I can get at the moment. The biggest reel I can get at the moment. I can get a, a bigger match rod, but there's really no point if if you can't buy any bigger line than than twenty pound. So yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes, guys. So first time off the Saint Cry. Let's go. And my net's not very big either, it's only a £200 net. Oh man, that's used a, a whole chunk of my cash. But as I said, I'm not really... I'm not really bothered about the cash. It's the XP that I'm after. Can't think of fishing. Yeah, good. Yeah, got to be good fighting. Yes, it is, William. I 
Okay, so first time at St. Croix. So we get a couple of a couple of thousand bucks. No, I don't want to buy any bus boats, so let's go battle these uh, northern pike. I just hope I don't get here in the first five minutes. Stop it, game. The first five minutes it break everything, you know. I'll need to keep all F4 at the ready, maybe. God, it feels like such a long time that I snuck behind these reeds down here and fished for them. Fact, let's we'll start off here. In fact, I'm going to change the time as well. I'm changing it to 7 a.m. Okay, let's see how we get on. I think we can go up another notch on the one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can do. So, not got a very big net, so. Hopefully it shouldn't take us that long to fill it, but I'm going to have to stay here a few a few days to, to try and uh, get some experience. Hey madame, welcome to the stream buddy. I hope you're having a good day, hope you're staying safe, hope you're keeping well. Well, it looks like we've got our first customer, maybe. That's not bad. Gosh, it's pretty. I thought they'd gotten more XP though. I'm a bit disappointed with that. I could fish the walleye and get the the same amount of XP, but we'll take it. That's the first one. Eight point seven pounds. Damon says, yeah, nice on 500 subs. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I do really appreciate all your, your help and you guys subbing. It's, uh, it was nice yesterday when I when I logged on and, and had a look. It said 500 subs. I was like, wow, who would have thought? I didn't know whether to do a, like a thank you video or... I might still do that, yeah. I might just do like a... Uh -oh. a short couple of minute video just to say thanks very much to everybody for for getting to this milestone oh, come on behave now This could go really badly. Oh, 
half a thousand. Yeah, I suppose if you look at it that way. Jordan's asking a face review. <laughs> maybe one day, buddy. Maybe one day. Okay, I kind of thought that would maybe happen. Let me just check something as well. It sounded pretty quiet. Audio. I know what it is. It's. Turned my mute, my volume down. That maybe be a bit better. Okay, so that did bite off my line. It didn't take my float, so I'm happy enough with that. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to use the. That must have been a trophy. Face reveal one case of it's maybe Jordan, maybe buddy. Right, let's try it with a titanium bleeder then. I'm kind of glad I bought some. Okay, let's try again. I wonder if it affects the bite rate now we're having the titanium leader. It shouldn't. My wife just popped in, she's away to bed. <clears throat> okay, let's try again. So the leader is slightly heavier than the line. But I've got my drag set to 19, I think it's 19 point six five pounds I think I worked it out to the leader's twenty two so the line's gonna go before the before the leader Okay, trophy. 14.2, it's slightly better on the XP. 245 XP is okay. The cash is really good though. Okay, it's not accomplished. Right, I didn't even <laughs> didn't even know I'd done it. Okay, wow, five thousand three hundred and eighty bucks. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, 
I just wonder what the last pike was, the one that uh, snapped my line. Hey Eric, welcome buddy. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day. Jordan says, Cove, can you play Call of the Wild in a video? I just got the game yesterday and would like to see you play it again. Yeah, sure buddy, I could do that. Yeah, I could play some Call of the Wild for you. Not tonight though. It'd probably be this weekend. I could probably do a stream either. Uh, if I don't do another one through the week, it'll be it'll be normally Friday, guys. So yeah, I could play Call of, Call of the Wild on either a Friday or a Saturday stream. It's been a while since I've played it and be good to get back into it again, to be honest. It's a good game. I do enjoy playing it. Okay, another trophy. I'm gonna XP another nearly a thousand, a thousand bucks. Eric saying, Cove, I don't know when I'll get back to Tibor. The cat's £11 pound trophy. Oh, I know, buddy. That's, it is, it's so destroying that mission. I remember doing it in Fishing Planet and thinking, oh, me. But I'm trying to remember. I'm sure it's a, a sunny day or a partly cloudy day, early in the morning, like somewhere around about 8, 8 a.m. I think it was, down by the dam. But yeah, it's it's pretty soul destroying that one. The T bird doesn't give up its uh, trophy carp uh, that easy, buddy. But just keep at it, that's the only thing I can say to you. Let's just keep at it, you'll, you'll catch one eventually. So you're at Blue Crab Island now, okay? Grinding for a few days, nice one. Yeah, yeah, it was daytime I caught mine as well. It was either a sunny morning or a partly cloudy day. And it was in the morning. Sure, it was roughly around about eight eight p.m. Yeah, eight a.m. Sorry. So whatever whatever day's got that peak, I'm sure it was a peak time. But yeah, if you if you if you're standing at the dam, the dam's on your right hand side. If you look up at the the hill above the dam, there's a castle that sits up there. I think it'd be cast just in line with the castle, about a hundred and I think it was between a hundred and forty and a hundred and sixty feet. You should eventually get a a trophy common carp, buddy. <coughs> but yes, I remember putting hours 
of real time into that mission as well. And yeah, it's it's a bit soul destroying. There is another spot uh, up by the boat dock, up to the right of the boat dock. Yeah, I've got trophy uh, common carp as well. Yeah, Krellip got his in in daytime as well, yeah. Hey, Timothy, welcome to the stream, buddy. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's going good. Thanks, man. Thanks for asking. I'm just here at St. Croix trying to, uh, try to get some XP. Fishing pretty light for this place, to be honest, guys, so. I'm trying to keep the, the hook size down so we don't, we don't, we don't, uh, I don't mind the trophies. The trophies will be, should be okay. Or even a small uni would be, uh, would be okay. But if we hook into like a 40 pound uni, then we're going to get spilled. Even a 35 or a 36 pound uni is going to, uh, it's probably going to spool us. But I'm, I'm itching to get some XP. So I thought, why not? Why not come here? Have a bit of fun. As I'm saying, it's it's not my main account, it's not my Steam account, so it's uh, it's the Windows version. So I just thought, I didn't even know this version existed until four or five days ago. Or well, maybe a, a bit longer than that now. So the places I've been fishing as well, obviously starting off at Lone Star, targeting the uh, the spotted bass at Lone Star, and then I moved to I moved to Emerald Lake in New York to target the walleye, and then after that I went to Florida for the the largemouth largemouth and uh, peacock bass. That's the only places I've really been. Oh, well, I mean, I've been a few other places doing some uh, doing some competitions, but I've not fished any of the other uh, places seriously. But it's slow. It's certainly slow if you've not got a DLC or uh, or got any premium account. I mean, ideally, I should be fishing my uh, my Steam account just now because I've got premium or not. Good says still camping at Willow Lake, trying to get to fifty four. Yeah, man, the grind, <laughs> the grind to fifty to fifty four. It's real, buddy. I just bought the DLC for uh, for Blue Crab Island and did it there. I did the grind from 50 to 55 there. Willow Lake's not my... Let's recast this out, guys. Willow Lake's not my uh, bestest place to fish. I used to when it when it first opened it was I thought it was really good but I just think it's been been nerfed quite a lot and it's a shame. It's 
So the last couple of times I've been there, I've, I've never done really, done really all that good at, at weeping willows. I've not, I've not been back in a long time. I should maybe give it another go. Eric says, I like to cut to the Uni Muskie at Michigan, £50 plus. Yes. I was just thinking whether I should try for some muskies. Maybe a bit later. See how brave I'm feeling. Yeah, but as I said, the cash is really good. I thought the XP was better though. I really did think it was a bit better. But we'll take it though. It says I got it figured out pretty good. I can film it up within a little over an hour real time. Nice one. Nice one, Timothy. Yeah, I as I said I, I fished fished the ass out of the place when it first opened and I was catching you know seven eight nine ten unis a day and then they nerfed it and then the last couple of times I've been there I've been lucky if I've had one or two But yeah, I'll need to get back into Weeping Willows again, definitely. Give it another go. I'm just wondering if I should maybe put the hook, the hook size up a little bit. I might be getting too greedy and I, and I might pay for it. But there, yeah, that's really good if you're if you're filling a net like that up in, in a little over an hour real time. That's uh, that's pretty good, buddy. I'm guessing you fish for tarpon at blue crab. Yes, yes. Tarpon, tarpon is really good. Yeah, the biggest one I caught was 150 pound, and geez, that gave over 6,000 uh, XP. In fact, it was nearly 7,000 XP. But the, the tarpon, the pilot fish, the drum and the common snook all gave good, uh, or oh, the unis of them anyway, all, all gave really good uh, XP. But yeah, the, the tarpon's a lot of fun. So there are a few uni, but the spawn rate there is pretty good in our day game time. I leave with 17k XP and 14 cost. Yeah, that's pretty good, buddy. Yeah, I've got I've got to get back into back into weeping willows again and give it give it another go. You know, seriously, give it another go. Eric says a tarpon at Everglades is hard to catch. Hit or miss. 
Yeah. I think it all depends. Eric, I mean, I mostly fished in peak times. So, catch them quite regularly uh, off the dock. Where you, where you spawn in. And also down by the abandoned bars at the at the wind farm. I thought they were real good fun. I mean, I mostly used my uh, cat boxers for them and barbless hooks just to make sure I was getting the full XP from them. But yeah, I got spilled a couple of times as well. A little, I mean, a little cat boxer is only something like it's 42 or 44 pound. Yeah, that little island there is good to fish around. Yes, it is, Tim. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's a bit better. That's better, guys. If we got a bag of them, I'd be quite happy. Nice, nice trophy. Just under eighteen pounds. Good enough uh, experience. That's what I was after. Yeah, I mean, I found the tarpon went went nuts for the the walker as well, but the not not the not the major walker, but the the patriotic walker. They went nuts for that, and so did the the pilot fish as well for some reason and the buzz bait the buzz bait's really good a combination of the buzz bait and the uh, the nymph was uh, was really good as well thanks eric thanks buddy the far end peg i caught one night on the crankbait yeah, crankbait works for the tarpon as well. Never really used the crankbait much uh, at Blue Crab Island. I did use the X-Series uh, casting spoon though, and it was, it was really good for the, the common snook. Common snook loved that. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, mate. Timothy says, I haven't tried lure fishing at Blue Crab yet. Yeah, it's good. It's good, but I just used shiners. That's all I used. I found that there was no difference whether I used shiners or large minnows or the scaled sardines as live bait. They were all as good as each other, so I just stuck to to, to shiners because they were the they were the cheapest to buy in it. And at that time, I wasn't level. I wasn't high enough level that I could buy the crabs or the other baits without having to use uh, bait coins. So I just used shiners. I mean, I caught my biggest tarpon, that 150 pound tarpon. It was on a, a seven hot barbless hook and a shiner on my cart boxer. But I found between Bottom fishing and float fishing, I found the bottom fishing to be more effective. Plus, if you're on the boat, you can only use one rod, you know, so I fished off the dock quite a lot. Just straight out in front, there's a, a few broken trees in the water off the dock straight out. Fished there most of the time.
Eric says I spent a lot of money doing the 30 day challenges on my Windows 10 account for the X series loan. Yes, buddy. Yep. I've only done one so far, and that was Lone Star. But I've I've got no I've got no decent gear to do the other ones yet, so And I've not really been anywhere else. I mean I know I could go to uh go to uh Rocky Lake and and Emerald Lake and, and do those to get those spoons there but I've not got decent rods yet to use them. Or Lens of Villa as well. To get the, the X-Series single spoon, which I think is probably the best spoon in the game. It's so versatile. But I've not got a decent spinning rod yet. I would really like to go to, to White Moose and and use that spoon on the, the lake trout. But I just I just haven't got anything decent enough yet. As long as you leave all your gear behind Derek when you do the Saturday challenges. And I mean everything. Leave absolutely everything back at your, your home base. Don't buy a license or anything. Just go and do the, the 30 day challenge and then leave again. But yes, it does get expensive, especially when you come to places like here or uh, San Joaquin in California or, or even Octuba. in Russia, or, or even, uh, even Quanchigan's quite expensive, or Alaska as well, and also Weeping Willows, you know what I mean, they're the places where you're like 10,000 to travel, and a couple of thousand a day, so it, it soon adds up, for the, uh, for the permit to fish, which you're not even going to use, you know. It's either that or win them in competitions, buddy. I wonder if I should put the hook size up one. I'll maybe try that. Pike have slowed down a bit. I think we're pretty much right on peak time now, or maybe it's coming off the back of peak time. Maybe a bad idea, try and put the hook size up. It, 
It must have been about 18 months or so since the last time I stood in there where that guy is on my Steam account fishing for uh, Northern Pike and Muskies. God, that bring back some memories. Go recast this. Let's have a look. It's I don't really want to go to a photo, so excuse me. We'll try a Yeah, we'll try the three and we'll see how we, uh... We'll see how we get on with that, guys. I mean, I've not even got... I mean, I've not even got a jacket, you know? I'm, I'm like... The only reason I've got a hat is because I did the, the, the night thing at, uh... What is it, the... The night shift, I'm sure it's the night shift. Oh yeah. Emerald Lake to get to get the heart. But I've I've managed to win one tournament. I've entered four and, and got first in one of them, so But the, the grinders real guys, jeez, forget just how how grindy this game is without any uh without any premium account or a DLC. But I thought there was no point in putting money into this version of the game. I mean, if I was gonna buy a DLC I would I would buy it for my, my Steam version of it. I wonder if we should try for the uh, the tiger muskies. I'm trying to remember what time. I know the the new bite system kind of messed around with all that. I'm not sure if you could put. Ah, uh, yeah, you must be able to. Put titanium leaders on, yeah, you can do when you're bottom rods. I was trying to stick to the to the fringes, you know. Try not to. You can edit any of the real big Northern Pike. But I might I might move next to this guy.
It certainly slowed down, so sure. Okay, here we go. Third time lucky, maybe. Nope. Okay, I don't know how that one works. Put a bigger hook on and get a smaller fish. Okay. Yeah, I think I was going to... Alright, buddy. There it goes. Yeah, I was... I was... Going to avoid it for a little bit, but... We'll give it a go here, guys. This is probably where it could all go wrong. Yeah, that's why I was kind of fishing the fringes. Because I, I think if I hook into like a, a uni, it's going to be a hell of a fight. Mind you, I suppose, you know what I mean? It's only a video game. I'm going to feel bad <laughs> if things go wrong. I wouldn't worry about it, buddy. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, back on the trophy trail again. That's what we're wanting. I'd quite happily stick to the, uh, stick with the, the trophies and, and maybe one small uni. Yeah, well, I mean, this is this brings me back a bit, guys. I think it was two years ago, just past that, I started playing Fish and Planet on on Steam, and I must have been about three or four months into the game before I got here. Somebody says I have to say I fished there all day in game. I didn't catch a uni there. Okay, buddy. We probably won't catch one, probably not got a big enough hook. Um, I don't really want to tempt fate. Okay, it's all right. Let's see what. Yeah, we're coming off the the back of peak time. I mean, it's still a possibility to catch a uni. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should I should be okay. You know, I have been spilled here on uh, on on Steam uh, using a forty four pound setup. In fact, I was I was just at the other side of these these lolly pads, and I was uh, I was in my boat. Here we go again. I think. Yep. Okay. You know, I quite, and as soon as, as soon as the pipe got to this side of the my boat, it just took off. Way up there, and obviously I had something like four hundred and forty feet of line on, and it just, it just took the whole lot. Now, in the evening time might be a different story. That's when I cut most of my unis there. Okay, buddy. I've never really fished it at night. Even in my my Steam account. We're doing, we're doing not bad. I am, I am tempted to put the hook size up again though. Well, when you said a forty pound set, yeah, it was a forty four pound setup. Yeah, and it just spilled me. It just took off and didn't stop. Well, from 5 to 8 p.m. Okay, but he got you now. But yes, it certainly uh, brings back memories fishing here. See how our, uh, our twenty pound setup holds out. I'm tempted to try for the uh, the tiger musky as well. This is, I think, a, a lot of us spent, or will spend a lot of time there. Yes, definitely. Yes, I spent hours and hours fishing here. Peering through the, the reeds, watching your float dance up and down. Okay, a little trophy, but yeah, I would, I would like, I would like a couple of, a couple of decent fights, you know, as long as it didn't break my, my stuff, I suppose. But 
if it did, we could always we could always buy new gear. Hey DK, welcome buddy. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're safe, man. I hope you're safe. Hope you're having a good day. set up with much drag is pretty tough but it would be a hell of a fight yes it will be a hell of a fight yeah I think the, the reel is £22 but on the on the on the on the seventh notch I think it's 19.65 or something pounds drag And it's twenty pound braid I'm using. That's all I could, that's all I could get at this at a uh, level thirty one. If I could have got something a bit a bit meatier or something around about twenty five pounds, you know, I did it just gives you that a little bit more more of an edge to to fight with, but Got a fish with what you've got, I suppose. Hello, Connor. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the street. Timothy says you went to bottom fishing because you can get stronger rods for a decent price. Yes, I mean, the, the cut boxers are really good. They're really good rods. I love my cut boxers. Dicky says he's safe and he's had an eventful day. Okay, buddy. Good to hear you're safe, man. Hey Dakota, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Sitting in the bushes again. <laughs> I was just saying uh, it must have been about 18 months since the last time I've Gumped in these bushes for the Northern Pike. Right, let's recast this and slow it down again.
You tried there on Kali for the sturgeon. The bite rate was bad for both. Okay. The bite rate was bad for both on Windows, so I bought the Carp Lord DLC. Okay. And I'm in the UK at the moment. And you're level 44 right now. Nice one, Dakota. So is the is the bite rate a lot better in the in the UK than it was here on the Kali? I'm I'm I was so tempted to buy a DLC at the weekend. And then I just thought, you know, if I'm if I'm gonna buy a DLC, then I'm gonna Gonna buy it from a Steam account because that is my my main account. But I was just saying it; it's such a grind without a premium or a or a DLC. <laughs> Forgot how grindy it, the fishing planet is. Excuse me. It's a horrible grind. It is Dakota. It is. No, well, unis are easier at UK, okay. I mean, I'm not fishing for unis. I'll take a small one if, if I get hooked into one. But it was mostly for uh, the trophies. I just want to get some XP, you know, that's that's why I came here. And I can't buy anything bigger yet, I'm not at high enough level, I'm on a level 31 at the moment. But yeah, it's such a grind. And I think it's 42 before I can get a real a decent reel that will fit the uh, the Zeus. So I've got ways to go yet. I take it the uh, the Carp Lord Park then gives you access to Weeping Willows.
feel like they've kind of nerfed the ass out of this place as well. For seven days, okay, I'm with you. Nice. I mean, I, I am tempted. I am tempted to look into a DLC. Just to, to try and hurry the process along, but I mean... How many more weeks are we going to be stuck at home, you know? I've got all the time in the world at the moment. But yeah, I wanted something a bit bigger. I mean, the cash is, is pretty good. I can't complain about that, but it's the, it's the XP that I'm after. I should maybe get some uh, some premium time or something, some premium account for seven days or Okay, he's still going to work wow. Well. Yeah, I mean everything here in, in, in the UK is shut down. Except for the, the stores and the, the pharmacies, it's the only places that are open. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I think he says he's been messing about in the shop. Okay, buddy. Well, stay safe, DK. Don't be cutting yourself, buddy. Don't be... Don't be injuring yourself. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll check when the evening peak time is, I'll change it to that and I'll, I'll put the hook size up again. This is if they cancel all the derbies and we're going to bash up in our quarry at this point. This car has been cussed. Out a lot, okay, buddy. You can take your frustration out somewhere else. Well, if you go wrecking, DK, be safe, buddy. Be safe, man. I don't think there's going to be any social events for a while, buddy.
Come on, this time. Okay, alright, let's have a look when the peak tides are. Okay, let's... Let's change... <laughs> let's put a four out on. Yep, we could be in for a bit of trouble now. Let's say for a caught headphones weren't in lol. Lady won't allow me to bust it up in the quarry, okay. Yeah, no fun for you, DK. Have to go wreck it up at wreck fest, okay buddy.
Okay, it's better. I think it was, I think it was, I can't remember what quest it, or what mission it was, DK, or what quest it was, but yeah, I got, I can't remember what one it was. It was something to do with the walleye, I think, was it the walleye? Hey Gareth, welcome to the stream, buddy. Hope you're uh, hope you're safe, man. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, so we're getting we're getting more trophies now since we've we've put the, the hook size up a bit. Thank you, yes, yeah, staying safe as I can and you too. How you been going? Yeah, I've been good. Been good buddy. I've been out once in three weeks and that was Friday to go down to the shop and get some beer. Which is only a couple of hundred yards walk down the road, you know. So that's been me for the last three weeks, really. Pretty much, pretty much stuck at home with the wife and kids. Been, been painting the house really I think that's what's kind of kept me busy Yeah, it's hard, Cove. You don't know how much freedom... Yeah, definitely, Gareth. That's, that's something I'll not take for granted again, that's for sure. But, you know, I mean, if, if we all do our part and and stay in as much as possible, then there's there's less chance of, uh, of, of the disease spreading, you know? Yeah, plenty of housework can be done there. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, the wife's got me got me painting, so yeah. And she's been painting as well. Don't get me wrong; she's she's quite good at the old, the old painting. So yeah, I've got the the kitchen left to do, and our bedroom left to do. The living room and the dining room's been done. I can imagine though, you know, I mean, my kids are, are grown up really, you know, they're, they're in their early 20s, but I can imagine, you know, being stuck at home with two or three kids, you know, young kids, jeez, it must be a bit of a, it must be a bit of a handful now, shame on the kids as well, you know, they can't get out to play and stuff. Or see their friends, you know. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely, Gara. Yeah, let's hope it does, you know, let's hope it does blow over quite soon. But yeah, I mean, everybody just stay safe, you know. Don't go out if you don't have to. Yeah, the way his partners have every, <laughs> have us all doing jobs at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which uh, I mean, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind. I've got, as I said, I've got plenty of time to to do them now, and we need it done anyway. So a good excuse to do the cases is less getting bigger, bigger by the day. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, DK. That's a net full, guys. Okay, yeah, it's hard with ours. Yeah, you've got a couple of young kids, haven't you? Understand why they can't get out to play with other kids, but yeah, new stuff for them. We're out in the back garden. The wife wants all of those trampolines. Okay, buddy. And I've said no over the years due to yeah, I love my garden and my lawn. Okay. DK says you should probably start it soon. Yeah, DK, the list is not going to get smaller on its own, buddy. Yep, got it. Yep, got to keep them happy, that's for sure. Right, let's see what the next day is. Okay, so it's a partly cloudy. Can I skip time? Let's just check. T. Yeah, another. Another 15 minutes. Okay, so I need to go. Let me just check time again. So, 9, 10 p.m. So I could go to 9. So much did we make? We made okay, I could could make that in Florida, I suppose. But as I said, it's the it's the XP that I'm after. I could make the same cash in Florida. Because of the, the size of the bag that I've got, it's pretty small for here. Oh, come on, guys, go do some backflips on it. <laughs> yeah, trampolines are fun. I remember when my kids were young and she had trampolines and a few beers in you, and then the next thing you know, you're bouncing all around the garden. Jeez. Well, frame rates. Oh, what happened there? That was weird. It's probably be easier than cussing the car that probably going to end up sitting for a year, yeah, probably DK. 
Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any any social events soon, buddy. Try a little bit over here. Yeah, they are, but have I noticed that after a year or two? They're not the prettiest thing, plus when a storm or gale comes, you're always worrying about it. Oh, yeah, I'm with you, buddy. I'm with you, but yeah, it'll be fine. Be fine. And I think that we, my daughters had their trampoline for, geez, like 10 years or so. It got well used, that's for sure. And it tires them out. Yeah, the trampoline. Yeah, yeah, I knew knew what you were on about. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind hooking into a uni just to see what kind of fun we'd get with this rod, this rod in real. There it says peeking over the weeds fishing out, yep buddy. There I am. Well, we've not had anything too big as of yet. I thought we'd maybe have hooked into something a bit more juicy or a bit. I 
There's still a bit to go yet. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, DK, what I got those X-series hooks for. I think it was for catching 250 walleye. I think so, buddy, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah, that's what I wonder if she'd go and try for a tiger musket and then come back here before I finish up. At least it would get us away from looking at these reeds. I think they're definitely a lot slower than what I remember of them. I think we'll, we'll go change, we'll go change spots, we'll come back here before the end of the stream. Let's try the old tiger musky spot. float will go out far enough. Oh yeah. Well 
But it beats looking at those reeds anyway, that's for sure. William says it's not looking good for Boris. No, it isn't, buddy. I just, uh, my wife was telling me earlier on when she was, uh, I nipped down the stairs to say that I was, I was going to start streaming. And she was saying, oh, have you heard that uh, Boris has been taken into intensive care? I was like, no, I hadn't heard. Well, yeah, you're right, buddy. It's, it's not looking good for him. What a shame he's, Wife's expecting very soon as well. Yeah, it's not good, man. Okay, DK. Cove knows. <laughs> Big every meet and how many leaves are on it. <laughs> oh dear. I wouldn't say I know that much of it, buddy, but I know enough of this game now. Right, dude, with the new bite system, it's completely, completely turned the game upside down. Sitting in a bit closer now. Let's try, let's try something, guys. Maybe the tigers aren't here anymore. Maybe they've moved.
Maybe the hook moved. It used to be sitting out there about 120 feet out. Well, it's not look like they're, they're biting. Just, I might be completely in the wrong time for them. I thought all that had changed though. Back to the back to the northern peak there, I think. Okay, well I'm not waiting around. Could be here all day. I know there was another northern pike spot. What if I could reach it from here? far enough.
what flavour today? It's uh, Raspberry Ripple DK. Okay, well that spot's still working. Sounds good and fancy, yeah, nothing fancy about it buddy, it's just my normal daily vape. into a big fish. I'd probably be better fishing it from the other side. He must have been chased by something bigger, yeah, he must have been DK. That was a, a pretty good fight for a little nine pounder. This one's a little bit bigger, but it's it's not a monster. Trophy.
try to remember the times when I used to fish for the for the tigers. It's maybe in the afternoon on a partly cloudy day. It's maybe like three to five or something. We've got five minutes to go. We could we could try for a musky, for the uh, for the clear musky. So it used to be it used to be a sunny. It used to only be able to get it at five to six a.m. on a on a sunny day. There is a blue cutfish spot at the lower peg at Michigan. Yes, there is, Eric. Yeah, you can't get blues down in Pike Alley as well. Kill the guy just casually gliding past, getting dragged by a by a northern pike. Right, the last five minutes, guys. Let's see what's lurking in this bay. I didn't realise it was getting it was getting so late. I thought I started the stream a bit earlier tonight. Let's see if there's anything lurking here. Yeah, I'm not really wanting to fish for, for blues, to be honest, Eric. Not tonight, buddy.
Okay, a little clear musky. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. I wish we could fish for them here in Scotland, but they don't have any muskies here. Yeah, right, last cast for th tonight, guys. Eric says I go for them when the pipes stop biting after about 7pm to fill up or get more XP if keeping it is filled. Okay buddy, I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, it, the, the blues are good. Good XP and good cash. But I just, I've really not got the, the gear to fish for them. Can't get cut large cut bait yet. I can get medium cut bait, but I, I can't. Uh, I can't buy large cut bait yet. It's not available to me. They are good for, for filling up your net at the end of the day or if you're looking for a bit more XP. Well, it doesn't look like anything else is wanting to play, so... I 
This place is so different from from what I remember, or certainly from the the Steam version. It seems to be it seems to be quite slow. It says you cut a uni blue cut off the, the floaty thing. Seventy pound or a nice one, buddy. It's a nice fish. That's a nice blue cut fish. Me off the off the floating dock, buddy. I think well it's been a bit quieter than, than I expected it to be if not we, we, well, we, I think it started somewhere about here on the XP so yeah I suppose two hours yeah it could have been it could have been a bit better anyway guys as I said it's, it's a pleasure as always and Thanks very much for spending some time with me here, playing the Windows version of Fish and Planet here at St. Croix. Hopefully, I'll probably do another live stream tomorrow. Let's see, let's see if we can get a bit more fight out of these fish. See if we can try and cut some, some bigger fish. But guys, hit that like button. It really does help me. And if you're new here, please think about subscribing. That really helps me as well. Yep, yeah, great William. Good night, Eric. Good night, DK. Good night, Gareth. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, take care. Good night.